Shabbat Shalom Israel. Now is the time. Now. When? Not tomorrow. Now. Now is the time. Now is the time. To call upon the Holy One. Now is the time for every tongue to praise Yeshua. Now is the time. Now is the time. To bow our heads and then
Israel, no matter where you are, let's go up by your way, set apart there with gladness and joy. Let's enter into our by our way, mercy seat, with love, gladness, and faithfulness. By our way, we are given mercy upon earth. The children of Israel, or which way are you a saint, or those who are pretend to be of the house of Israel, but they are not of the house of Israel? Are you already the tribe of Israel, or you are faking yourself? There's a lot of people who pretend they are something when they are not nothing. There is so many deceptions going on all over the world. The children of Israel is the time to wake up, is the time to seek up, is the time to listen to the truth or out of Israel, no matter where you are. Abaya will call you out of the darkness, and Abaya will want you to listen to whatever he has to say. This is crazy, man. It's not crazy. It's like every time I look around. What do you see? Getting some news, somebody died. Somebody died, died. really? Yeah, Why did they die? Family members, friends. Uh, Knew. What happened to them? Sad, it's really. The news day. What do you hear? Really? You going what is going on? Who is rather on the grid? So America. It's going to be every second. Really? Uh -huh. But our people won't our listen. People won't listen. They hear the word and they toss it aside. It's written right there in Revelations. Uh -huh. It says, Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. You feel too much comfortable in your enemy territory, my friend. By looking for equal rights. 
are looking for justice when you are living in your enemy territory. Come out of her. Father Day, Mother Day, July Day for Thanksgiving Day, Mother Day, Father Day, Black Historical Month, Martin Luther King Birthday, about Yahshua Day, Yahshua Day of the Day, about Peter, about Keva, about Shaul, about Martin Yahu. They have no day for us, but they have a day for Martin Luther King. It is a time for you to know Israel to know where they are, where they stand before it's too late. Because if you don't take it early, it's going to be too late. When it's too late for you, my friend, there is only one thing you're going to do. And what you're going to do is just to stay there and then get killed, get murdered. It's about all the movements. It's about all life. All life matter. It's about only the black life which matter. But all life matter. So because when you love somebody, you love one another, then it's just about black and white and purple and yellow. There is about love. If there is love, I don't think anybody can miss the point to love one another. But if we are refused to love one another, we are talking about black and white purple. All black life matter. It's not all black matter. It's, like it's all the life matter. Oh, 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 oh. Give some news, somebody oh, died. Oh, oh, oh. Dying. Oh, oh, oh. Dying. Oh, oh, oh. Winning. Family members, friends. Do you think you see oh, anything yet? People so that you die. die. Eh, hey, what happened? I'm sad, man. It's not sad yet. You're watching the news every day, but you won't burn. Oh, really? All oh, you see what's going on in Babylon. Do you see nothing yet? So many people. It's about black and white. It's about our prejudice, racism, discrimination, or why did I? Judge for yourself and see. Can you judge the book according to the color of your skin? You do not go crazy yet. It's the beginning of Jacob trouble. Really? You're going to be mount up? Really? You're going to see the promised land? We are the end of the end time. Really? Uh -huh. Our people still dying because they won't listen. That's the key word. They keep on dying because they won't listen. It's not about black life matter. It's about the won't listen. Of her. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. Come out of her. My people, it's a plea, it's a comment, it's a warning. Before it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. What is it? Uh -huh. Come out of her, my people. Really? That ye be not one Really? That you don't want to. Uh -huh. That he received not uh, uh, of her plagues. Then they don't want to come out. Come out of my people. Really? Yeah. Uh, said our people, they won't listen. Really? No, they won't hear what the word say. Oh, no. They don't no. hear what the word said say. People, mm. people, they don't hear me. They don't no. hear me. They don't want to hear what the word say. You, you want to hear what the word say. Come out of her. My people. Before it's too late. Come 
out of her. My people. Keep on dying. Before it's too late. Don't let me too late, my people, Israel. Uh huh. Really? They keep on dying. Babylon the Great, America. Stop letting Babylon score. Babylon gonna score them because they feel like comfortable with the system. They were not gonna come out. To all my brothers, it's right, like sisters, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth. I am Messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. She Shabbat Shalom. Peace be today. Peace be to all of you, no matter where you are tonight. This is Yahweh's Sabbath day. Let us go before Abba Yahweh mercy seat and ask Abba Yahweh. To protect us from the week to come, the new week to come, to provide for us and to bless us for the week to come and to be a provider for whatever the circumstances might be. Let's be content and let's us praise and give thanks to Abba Yahweh. That song has something for somebody to learn. I don't know who, but there is something. Abba, I want you to hear that song again. And to hear what the words say on the song, if what the people say, if that really what is happening or what is going on, it is an accident, it is a coincidence. What is going on? Coronavirus, Black Lives Matter. There is so many things happen, so many confusions, so many deceptions. I don't think anything happened by accident because Yahweh say he has appointed a time. A time for everything. A time for everything. But there is a lot of thing. When you know you have a bulldog, you have to make sure you put a leash on that bulldog. Don't let that bulldog run away without a leash. Because when he when he unleashed like that, he can do a lot of damage. So before people criticize or do anything, you must be realized to respect one another and love one another. It's not about only black life matter. It's about all life matter. All life, they are precious and are by our way life. My friends, let's listen to that song one more time because I love that song. Let's listen to it one more time. This is crazy, man. Uh -huh. I love that song for a reason. Because there is someone, many people might be saved or understand what he's saying. But there is a message for anyone who listen to it. People the truth and I know. It's sad. What do you say? Babylon the Great, not Babylon. America is Babylon the Great. He walked with Babylon. For everybody, our people won't listen. Israel, are you with us? You refuse to pay attention. You refuse to listen to your creator. Come out of her. Uh -huh. Come on. Come out of her. My people. Get up before it's too late, my friend. Yes, they get crazy out there. The heat is on. Come on. I don't think they're going to the mountains. They don't go to Zion, my friend. That is a dream. They're not chocolate to yes. Uh, Reparation to go to hell with Satan. Our people are still dying because they won't listen. My people keep on dying because they won't listen. 
toss it aside. It's written right there in Revelations. It says, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her. My people. Get up before it's too late, my friend. Before it's too late. Come out of her. Before it's too late. And I heard another voice. What is it? Tell me, huh? Come out of her, my people. Really? That ye be not partake uh -huh. of her sin. Uh -huh. And that ye receive not mm -hmm. of her plague. Why do you want to leave? Why do you want to come out come from out the from Babylonian system? Yeah. Why do you want to come out from the holidays, pagans holidays? They don't hear what the words say. Uh -huh. They don't hear you. Why? You don't want to hear what the words say. That is a crime, a command, and a warning. You know, we refuse to come out. Uh -huh. It's going to be too late. Believe it or not. It's going to be too late. The time they're going to feel like you come out. Uh -huh. My people keep on dying. It's gonna be too late, believe or not. My people, what? Keep dying and bad it on the bridge in America because they no one wants to come out. But we don't want to score them every day because they are so stupid, so dumb. You want to let Babylon score them. My brothers and sisters, is it not a blessing? Is it not a day? Is it not a privilege? to be with you tonight, to go before Abba Yahweh to ask him for providence and to ask Abba Yahweh to get, to lead us, to provide for us for the week to come. My friends, yeah, a time and a season for everything under the sun, yes. There is no doubt about that. Abba Yahweh has already appointed it. There is a time. Yahweh do everything in his own time. Shabbat Shalom to all of you. No matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, may Abba Yahweh Shalom be with all of you. May Abba Yahweh open up your ears. May Abba Yahweh give you the opportunity, the spirit, in order for you to understand. Because tonight, Abba Yahweh will come before you in your presence here again in order to honor, in order to praise you on your set apart day and your Sabbath day, you are set apart for us. I'm asking all the listeners, all the viewers, all your people who are on the four corner of the, of the children of Israel, who are scared away on the for the world of Yahweh. Those who cannot wait to know the times for them to hear your voice, your words, your truth, your salvation. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you the veil. Because those who get the veil, those who are the one, if the good news is hiding, is hiding for those who are perishing. If the good news is hiding, it is hiding only for those who are perishing. Abba Yahweh, those who ever hear to hear, let them hear what your spirit has to say to the congregation of the children of Israel. Abba Yahweh, I thank you for all those viewers, the listeners, no matter who they are, Abba Yahweh, where they are, where they live in it. Because you slept away your people, Israel, on the four corner of the earth. Abba Yahweh, you see, there's nothing new under the sun. Everything we see is already exists. There's nothing new. But Abba Yahweh set a time to renew them to you, to reveal them to you. Without Abba Yahweh, you could not be revealed. It. Abba Yahweh, Open up my lips, may my mouth may declare your praise in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. Beshem Yahshua Hamashiach. Abba Yahweh, I know there is one time, one day, the same way all your creations, they praise you, they thank you, they be grateful to you, they be content in whatever circumstances might be. I know there is one day on the earth, 
everybody gonna do your will that's why when we pray our father who are empowered us and will be the name yahweh may that kingdom come may that will be done on earth as it is right now in paradise now everybody some of the saints so some pagan music some drinking some parties some smoke some going to funerals some going to wedding some going to everything everybody have something different to do but in the paradise everybody do only one thing the will of yahweh praise yahweh 24 7. we are blessed our prayer will give us six days and it took only one days even then we are with yous. we always have some skills always have some skills when it's about yahweh when there is no other person they never have skills but when it's about yahweh everybody always say do you think it's a real day do you think it's this do you think it's this but when it's the time for father day for president day for july the fourth nobody ever asks any questions the valentine day thanksgiving day all those pagans holidays you have no problems to just go it and do it because it's about pleasure it's a, it's a that's the reason why the scripture say in the latter day men gonna be lover of themselves pleasure they don't ask any question because they just want to drink having sex having pleasure so you all never ask no questions but when it's about yahweh there always be a question to ask my friend let me tell you something don't be deceived of yourself if you don't have no faith on abba yahweh whatever you do is going to be a waste of time only faith gonna save you it's not your religion it's not by your color of your skin color no your faith it's not about color it's about your faith it's not about prayer it's about faith you can pray but if your prayer without faith is a waste of time there's just so many things happen in the story they've been lied to you for almost two thousand years of religion deceptions now is it time for the children of israel to start by listening to the word of the creator the maker yahweh the almighty creator call yahweh by his name the book of Jeremiah 33 3. yahweh say call me by my name then i will reveal to you the mysterious secret of my kingdom you never know in your life in order for yah by yahweh to reveal to you the secret of his kingdom you must be Call him by his name. Do you love when somebody call you by name? Everybody does, right? You have a name. Your dogs have a name. Your cat has a name. Everything you have has a name. The dog when you call, it's answer you. That's just like Yahweh. If you call call yourself Yahweh, Yahweh, see Yahweh, you waste of your time. You waste of your time. My friend, may Abba Yahweh be with you. May Abba Yahweh bless you. So my friend, tonight is not the night. Everywhere is about Black Lives Matter. But let's see what the scripture has to say about Black Lives Matter. May Abba Yahweh bless you. May Abba Yahweh lead you. May Abba Yahweh give you a new spirit and renew of your mind in order to understand is what in the name of Yahshua Mashiach. Put, please put your seat down. The flyer gonna take off the captain on board is Yahshua Amasiak. The flyer is number seven 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 seven. Please take your seat bell and let's head take off. This is the time for the airplane to take off now. So let's be ready. In the name of Yahshua Amasiak Abayawe. Please open up my mouth. Remind this may clear your praise. In the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. My beloved Israel, brothers and sisters, no matter where you are, tonight is a night, but not as the other nights. It's different. And it's a night to remember. Abaya, we please. Let's show it be done on earth as it is wet now in paradise. Those who have ears to hear, please open up their ears. Those who are blind are by our way, open up their, their eyes, they can see. 
those abaya without not understanding no understanding please give them your wisdom give them the discernment they can be testing the spirit to see where the spirit is coming from it's come from you of Israel from from the first prophet because many false prophet many false spirits any bad spirit has already gone out of this world in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach hallelujah Shalom, my brothers, my fellow citizens, in the name of Yahweh, to Yahshua HaMashiach. Shalom. At this time, moment in time, with the current event, we have all been witnesses across America. We see many people showing their support for the black life matter movement but it is only black life that matter what about all the ethnic group that are throughout the world this world if your eyes know the color of blood is red right then why all the focus is so heavily on skin color what about the animals in this world? Do they not share in the same breath as we do? Yahweh and Yahushua ministries and your scripture teacher, Messenger Daniel Hyden, inviting you, not tell you welcome to listen to our by Yahweh message to you. Because life is a precious gift from Yahweh, your creator. Why fight and kill between one another instead of to love one another? Why? Why? The question is, should be only black life matter or all life matter? Let's go dive into the scripture. And to see why Abba Yahweh allow all those sufferings, all those chaos, and this thing. What does Abba Yahweh allow suffering? The world is filled with suffering of every kind. Countless billion no little earths. Yet, Abba Yahweh allow it why are by Yahweh not stop the violence, the terrible sufferings? They affect so many. Is there a reason that by Yahweh has not intervened? Does suffering have a great unseen purpose that can be understood? Take a look around the world a enormous number of people dying every day people are suffering everywhere from every kind of reason every day over 400 thousand people starving to death maybe more and this is after weeks or months of horrible sufferings. So suffering is not limited to physical pain, but including psychological and mental anguish of parents often having to watch their children die in their arms. A starvation is so awful that death is actually a bless we live. What does our Bayahweh don't stop this? Here in the United States of America, every second someone die with a shooting guns, police brutality, racism across the United States of America. 
people make all kind parts of equal rights. People shouting no justice, no peace. Black life matter. Why is the only black lives matter? Why is it not Yahweh and Tovern? Why does our Bayahweh not banish war? If only black life matter, I think it's wrong. Life in general, not even for the animals, is a precious gift from Yahweh, not from men. So it's not only black life matter. It's all life, all human beings. are bear we create all his creations for his own purpose. He don't give no man green line or license to kill. But he gives license to love, not license to kill. So if our buyer will give us license to love, it's not only black life which matters. All life matters. No matter the animals, a tree, the life also have a value in your creator's eyes. My friends, there is a, so many propaganda, so many people talking trash. So many leaders lead all those people extra. They drive them crazy because the media is number one deceptive. The second is the leaders. When we turn the book of Genesis, first chapter, verse 26, then Yahweh say, Let us make men or make men in our image. Anyone believe Abaya will ask great men in his own image? If Abaya will create men in his own image, that means we are all brothers and sisters. No matter what ways people take him. Because if Yahweh create all men in his own image, so we are all one. So who divide us? Let's dip inside the scripture to find out who divide us. Why there is black and white? Why there is purple and yellow? Why there is discrimination and racism, especially in the United States of America? Let's find out and let's see. And let's take a deep drive in the scripture. In the book of Genesis, the first chapter, verse 27, so Yahweh created men in his own image, and the image of Yahweh, he created him male and female. If Yahweh created male and female in its own image, so that means every single person living on the earth, life matter. It's not only black life matter. Every single life matter. If what the scriptures say is true. If not, that means, hey, there is a way to see this color. Jesus said, chapter verse 22, Yahweh bless them and say, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, let the fish fill the sea, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Let's take a deep breath to understand exactly what's taking place. If Yahweh bless them, O Iblis, Adam and Eve, and say, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth. Let the fish be the fill the sea. And let the birds multiply on the earth. If Abel will bless them, bless Adam, he give dominion to Adam on the earth. That means we are all one. There is only one family. We are all came from Adam. That's number one. Keep in mind. Because we're going to drive in deep into to the scripture to see where is discrimination. The races of the United States of America is coming from. The book of Genesis, the first chapter, verse 28. And Yahweh blessed them, and Yahweh said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and subdue the earth, and have dominions over the face of the sea, and over the falls of the air and over every living things that move upon the earth 
with it. If you are buyer, we bless Adam and say to Adam to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue the earth and have dominions over the earth. So where is discrimination coming from? When there is only one man, Adam, I we give dominion over the earth. So there's a way, or there's only one way. So far, there's only one way. Let's take now the book of Genesis, 9 chapter verse 1. And Yahweh bless Noah and his son, and say unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. Yahweh bless Noah and his son, and say, have many children so that your descendants will live all over the earth. So after the flood, there is only one family who will survive. That was Noah family. That's the Noah family until today we are living. So if there is any discrimination, it comes from Noah's seed because only Noah's seed will survive on the time of the flood. There is no order. Are we there? We are on the same pages? Where is the color discrimination, black and white, coming from? Because Noah has three sons and three daughters and laws. They don't give you detail what color they are, they was purple, yellow, or purple, black, whatsoever. They said they're never talking about what color it was. Even Adam and Eve, the scripture never talking about what color Adam and Eve was. People just say something, they have no ideas, no wisdom, no understanding, but they have the knowledge what Satan put on the mind, and they keep on saying something, they have no idea about it. If Noah has a three son, nobody describes what Kai colored the words, which the scripture don't say it. I'm not going to say it. Verse 5. And for your life blood, I will surely demand it. According, I will demand it and account it from every animal from the earth and human also. And I will say, I will require the blood of anyone who take another person's life. That means our buyer is against anybody who kill anyone. That should not kill Blank, blank. I don't care who you are. That should not kill. It's not a choice. It's a commandment. Are you get that? If you love somebody as yourself, you're not going to hurt that person. Love plays a big part on the book of Yahweh. I may always say, I will require the blood of anyone who take another person's life. If a white animal kill a person, it must be die. Even a white animal kill somebody, that animal should be die because they have no license to kill. A Bayawe doesn't give nobody any license whatsoever to kill, but a Bayawe give every single person living on the face of the earth a license to love one another. My friends, I bear we say, and anyone who murder a fellow human must die. Anyone, no exception, who murder or who kill any fellow human being, that person must be die also. My friends, whoever shed the blood of a man, by man his blood will be shed. For any Yahweh, our own image, Yahweh make male and female. If that you, what Yahweh say, that's what is go. I don't care what you think, what is your opinions. If anybody kills somebody, it must be killed also. Verse 7. As for you, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. I bear Yahweh talking to Noah's sons again. As for you, be fruitful and multiply, populate 
the earth and abundantly and multiply and the earth. So that's mean our buy away, give 100% Noah seed, the power and authority to replenish the earth. So we are all came from Noah sons. We are all came from one. Noah's son is one family. One family that can be prejudiced, racist, or ethnic, or color, or whatsoever. But on the one thing, the scripture says each one go different directions. They don't stay the same directions. But they don't see what color they was. Verse 8. Then Yahweh said to Noah and to his son with him. Verse 9. Behold, I now establish my covenant with you and your descendants after you. Make just like he make a covenant with Abraham. I mean, with um, Adam, he made the same way, the same covenant. Behold, now I establish my covenant with you and your descendant after you. Verse 18, the sons of Noah who came out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Yafet. Ham was the father of the Canaanites. Ham was the father of the Canaanites, the land of Canaan, the land Abayahweh gave to our forefathers. Verse 19, these were the three sons of Noah, and from them came the people who were scattered away all over the earth. Really? If so, what is discrimination is coming from? If we all came from Noah, three sons, we are all one. As a branch of a tree, you might be going in different directions, but at the end, we remain as one. All people on earth are descendants of Noah, three sons. All the people on the earth, I don't care what color you are, we are descendants of Noah, three sons. You have a problem with that? You don't see nothing yet. Because the truth is the truth. Genesis 12, chapter verse 3. And I will bless those who bless you. And curse those who curse you. And all the family of the earth will be blessed through you. He again, Abayahwe choose one person. Abraham. And Abayahwe say, I will bless whoever bless you from Abraham, from one seed again, one person. From Adam, one family. From Noah, his son, one family. Now from Abraham, is one family. So where this discrimination coming from? Where black and white talking coming from? Where? Where is coming from? Let's, let's take a deep breath. Abraham said to Abraham, I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse those who curse you and and you and you all the people all the family of the earth should be blessed all the family of the earth you don't say the black people or on white people or yellow people or gold people or purple that is say all the family of the earth should be blessed to you now there is no color speaking there is no color yet. I don't see no black and white yet. Do you see it? Show it to me on the scripture, please. Seeing that Abraham so surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the people of the earth should be blessed in him. Again and again, all the people Abraham, from Abraham should become a great and mighty nation. Nation, not nations. And all the people of the earth should be blessed in him. From one person, every family of the earth should be blessed to one person. So where is the discrimination coming from yet? I don't see it yet. Do you see it? Let me know. When you find the verse, let me know. Now, let's take the book of Genesis 22, chapter verse 18. And in your seed... 
So all the people of the earth be blessed be because you have obeyed my voice. Yet again, listen, the contest, what the scripture has to say. Not what men say, but what Yahweh's spirit has to reveal to you. Stop the nonsense, the what is black and white, purple and yellow. It makes no sense. Genesis 22, chapter verse 18, stated that, and your seed shall all the people of the earth be blessed. All the people. You don't see black people or white people or yellow people. All the people print black. You don't divide it. You say this people or this. You say all the people to be blessed to only one person. You know, if all the people want to bless with one person, yet there is no discrimination or division so far. The scripture is oneness. Now, let's see chapter verse 4. And I will make your seed to multiply as the stars in the sky. Mm -hmm. And I will give into your seed all those countries. And the seed, they shall be blessed. All the people on the earth again and again. From one seed, all the people on the earth should be blessed. You don't say black. You don't say white. You don't say yellow. White doesn't exist. Black doesn't exist. Take a look. Take a look back. You know why. If I buy away said to Yaakov, I will make your seed to multiply. Talking to Yaakov who become Israel. I will make your seed to multiply as the stars in the sky. Can you count how many stars on the sky? No. Do we talking about color? No. Do the stars as any color? No. So if the star has no color, I buy our promise to Yaakov, who later become Israel, I will multiply your seed as the stars on the sky. That's number one. And I will give auto to your seed. That means I'm count on the seed. If you are of the house of Israel, you are also one. And those countries, not the nation countries, you don't see nations. It's the countries. And the seed shall all the people of the earth shall be blessed. And your seed, and your seed, Yaakov, will become Israel. All the people of the earth shall be blessed to you. Yet again, there is one family so far, right? I don't see black and white, purple, yellow yet. Do you see it? Please let me know. Send me the verse. I will really appreciate that. Now, let's go to the book of Exodus 20, chapter, verse 13. Exodus 20, chapter, verse 13. You must murder or you must not kill. Do Yahweh give anybody any license to kill? When Yahweh said that should not kill, even a chicken, you don't supposed to be killed because he don't tell you who to kill. He don't give the instructions. Only one thing, he don't give you the license to kill. Point blank. That should not kill. Even the animals as the breath of life, just that you have the breath of life. You must respect our by our creation. If you not create, you cannot take. If you take a life, you must die also. I don't care who you are. When I buy our word, what he say is what is count, is what is matter. It's not about all black life matter. All life matter. Because you do not create life. You cannot give life. You cannot take life. Abayahweh did not give anybody license to kill. But Abayahweh give every single person on the face of the earth a license to love one another. Respect one another. Point blank. No question asking. Let's keep on going through the scripture. Let's dive to the scripture. Let the scripture speak in its own language. Exodus 21, chapter verse 12. 
who have a sword and kill a man must surely be put to death. I'm not the one who's the scripture is speaking. Yahweh is speaking his word through me. Because you're so blind. There is so many misinterpretations, so many confusions, so many blind who lead another blind. Exodus Shemot 21, chapter verse 12. Whoever struck a kill a man must surely be put to death. That means Yahweh never give anyone on the face of the earth any license to kill. But we kill. That's correct. All right, let's keep on continuing. The book of Vaikwa, the book of Leviticus 24, chapter 17. And if a man take the life of anyone else, he must surely be put to death. Point blank. This is Yahweh. So we read so many scriptures so far. Our Bible do not permit it anyone to take the life of anyone. Even the animals, even a tree. You do not plant a tree, you cannot cut a tree. What you cannot give back, you don't take. Uh, by the way, see, I give life and I can take life. You, you do not give, you cannot take. You cannot take, you cannot give, so you don't take. That should not kill. I don't care if you are a on the army, if you are if you are on the soldier, you don't supposed to be killed. That said, went blank. Second thing, as for you, Abaya will say, be fulfilled and multiply. And Yahweh say that. Now, Abaya will say, if any man take a life, if any man, no exception, any man life, that person should be put to death. Point blank. It's not about black life matter. It's about all life matter. That's the way, the way you take the contest. And you're going to see. Those who see black life matter and what's going to be happening to them. The book of Exodus 23, chapter verse 7. A stay far away from a false accusation. Do not kill innocent or the just. For I am Yahweh, will not. I will never let that person go unpunished. A stay far away from a false accusations. Do not kill an innocent or the judge. For I am Yahweh. I will not let that person go unpunished. You get that? Sometimes you kill an innocent person by saying something bad. A false accusation. With that person lose his life. Because these generations, they don't care. If they put a gun on you, they will make sure they put the trigger. Because nobody teach them the word of Yahweh that should not kill. Be sure never to charge anyone falsely with evil. Never sentence a innocent or blameless person to death. For I never declare a guilty person to be innocent. Listen what Yahweh said to all of you. Listen. Take a note. Maybe it's not for you to understand. That's why I want to take a note. And go ahead and read them for yourself. Maybe you can't be understand what Yahweh said. Abraham say, be sure never be charged anyone falsely with evil. Never sentence a innocent or blameless. Never sentence a innocent or blameless person to death. For I never, I never declare a guilty person to be innocent. Abraham say, that will never be happen. If somebody is guilty, for me to find an innocent, uh-uh. That -uh. will say, that not me. If the person is guilty, that person is going to pay for the I will never. That will say, I will never. I will never declare a guilty person to be innocent. Are you get that? That's Yahweh. That's Yahweh way. That means Yahweh never give anybody license to kill. 
whoever you think you are that should not kill point blank you get that okay good now let's to the book of matthew the book of matthew 12 chapter verse 28 one of the teachers of the law come and heard the bad things noticing that messiah Yeshua have given them a good answer he asked all the commandments which is the most important the teacher of the Lord, the Pharisees, asking Messiah Yeshua, teacher, on all the commandments, what is the most important of them? Verse 29, Messiah Yeshua said, the most important one is this, he O Israel, Yahweh your creator, and Yahweh is one. Hello. This is a white teacher. That's why he teach his own way. The most important ones, Messiah Shua reply, is this. He O Israel, Yahweh your creator, Yahweh is one. Yahweh is not two, is not three, is not four, is only one. Yahweh has plenty titles attributed to his kingdom, but he have only one name. But humanity are so confused, do this, they are so confused, they told you he gets 72 names. But there is nowhere on the scripture I say, call me by my names. See, call me by my name. One, El Hag, one. Verse 29. The most important ones, Messiah Shua replied to the Pharisees, is this. He o Israel, Yahweh your creator, Yahweh is one. You call Yahweh everything. You think each one person. Every different God they serve. Yes, each country, every different God they are serving. Don't think when they call Yahweh, they do not know what God they serve. When they say TMH, they know. When they say Israel for Christ, they know. When they say Hashem, they know. When they say Adonai, they know. When they say Jehovah, they know. This, when they say Aya, that Aya, they know which God do they call upon. You do not know their language, but they know their language they spoken about. My friend, verse 30, Yahweh say, love Yahweh, your creator, with all your mind, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. If you all, if you call, if you love Yahweh, as Messiah Shua described, our destruction has been given to us. There is no room to love any other person. But to love Yahweh. If you love Yahweh, you will love everybody. Because Yahweh is love. If there is no love on you, you are not coming from Yahweh. I'm sorry, my friend. You come from Satan. That's like Cain kill his brother Abel because of jealousy. Because he was not coming from Yahweh. He's coming from Satan. Verse 31. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no as there is no other commandments greater than those days. The second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than those. Love your neighbor as yourself. Who is your neighbor? The person who lives next door to you? Or the person who lives court street to you? Love your neighbor as yourself. If you love your neighbor as yourself, you're not going to take a life nobody. You're not going to kill nobody. But you must to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you cannot love nobody. Everything starts from you. Because the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. The kingdom of Yahweh is not built on that. Any expectation is there, is there. No, it's within you. Everything has to take an example from you. I teach people proclaim the Sabbath day. I have to show the person I obey the Sabbath day. Everything from A to Z in order to trace an example. As a leader, you must trace an example. Don't say something and do another thing or do another thing and say something different. No. That's a confusion. That's a misleading. My friends, the book of Vahigwa, 19 chapter verse 18. The book of Leviticus, 
19 chapter verse 18 state that do not seek revenge or be any gorgeous against any of your people but love your neighbor as yourself i am yahweh that's a comment from yahweh himself told you it is a must to love one another he don't say to kill one another but he say to love that neighbor as that self if you love your neighbor it's not about all black life matter no if there is a love in you you have the spirit of yahweh all life matter no matter a life or a chicken is mother a life of a goat you don't give life you cannot take life even a chicken you don't supposed to be killed. A bear will not give you a license to kill chicken. Not to eat in chicken. That's why I said that should not kill. It is a blank. It don't feel anything, give you no explanations. That means you must not kill. If you think you have the power to kill, that's not came from Yahweh, it came from Satan. If you are of Yahweh, you will love your neighbor as yourself. If you love yourself, you're not going to hate nobody. That's why it's all about love. The book of Matthew, 7 chapter, verse 12, said that. Do to others whatever you will lack them to do to you. That's the golden words. Hello? Anybody listen? Do to others whatever you will lack them to do to you. This is the essence of of all that is taught in the laws and the prophets. Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is in the taught and the law and the prophets. All things, therefore, as many as you might be desired that men should do to you so also do to them for this is the law and the prophet luke 6 chapter verse 31 do to others as you will have them to do to you if you don't want somebody to slap you don't slap somebody else if you don't like somebody to disrespect you don't disrespect another Whatever you don't like somebody to do to you, don't do it to another. That's the golden words. Nobody teach those generations the golden words. Because the game they know is okay to kill. Because the system give them the license with the game to kill. Why they so evil, so wicked, is because of the system. Sell them the game, the violence game. So when they play game, it's nothing for them. So life a person is not mean nothing. I never hear what I heard today in my own life. What I see, I'm a witness. I never see those before. If they was told me every second I'm gonna hear somebody gone down, I would say no, that's never be happened in my lifetime. But now every second, because these generations, those youngsters. They don't care. Nobody teach them how to pray. It's the system. I blame the system. The system is the one who caused the young people to be wicked, to be act the way they acting. Because they remove prayer. They remove the commitment of our buyer. We, we place it by violence game, by sex, by pleasure. What you expect. The even violated the fifth commitment of our by Yahweh. If your father and mother even talk to you, call 911. Time for change, O United States of America. Those who make the law of this country. Yahweh has a judgment against you. My friends, the book of Romans 13, chapter verse 8. Be in debt to no one. Be in debt to one or one, except to one another and love. Be in debt with no one, but except 
to one another in love and love not in hate or jealousy and love for he who love his neighbor has fulfilled the law whoever love his neighbors has fulfilled the law everything is about love 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 my friends the book of Romans 13 chapter verse 12 say love does no wrong love does no wrong if you love somebody you never do anything wrong to nobody if you have love in you the love of Yahweh you will never intend or pretend it or have any ideas to hurt somebody because of a spirit of Yahweh will not allow you to do anything wrong. Because Yahweh is love. If you love Yahweh, you will have the love of Yahweh in you. Because love does no wrong. If somebody say, I love you, but doing something wrong with you, that's not love. If that person loves you, my friends, that person is not going to do anything wrong to you. To his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Love. Because if you love Yahweh, you're not breaking the covenant with Yahweh. If you love Yahweh, you will never have any other gods. If you love Yahweh, you will never bow down to any graven images. If you love Yahweh, you will not use the name of Yahweh to make him money. If you love Yahweh, you will observe the Sabbath day. If you love your fellow human, you will respect your mother and your father. If you love your fellow human being, you will not commit adultery. If you love your fellow human being, you are not going to kill somebody. If you love your fellow human being, you are not going to steal to somebody. If you love your fellow human being, you are not going to go against your neighbor wife or your neighbor husband whatsoever. You are not going to trust anyone if you love that neighbor as that self. Are you get that? That's the Ten Commandments. My friends, God is in five chapter is 14. The entire law is fulfilled in one single degree. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love. Love is everything. If there is no love in you, you are not of Yahweh. You are of Satan. Because Satan don't have no love. You don't even know what love is. But those who say they know Yahweh, Yahweh is love. So if you love, your love doesn't do no wrong. If anybody say I love and do something wrong, my friends, that's not true. Love does do no wrong. My friend, the book of James, 2 chapter verse 8. If you really obey the world's law, state that, and the scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing well. If you love your neighbor as yourself, are you going to kill that person? No. Are you going to beat that person? No. Are you going to be still from that person? No. Are you going to lie to that person? No. Are you going to fight with that person? No. Are you going to do anything wrong to that person? No. If you love yourself, you will love others. But if you don't love yourself, you will never be able to love nobody. Everything starts from you. What we see happen today is because there is no love for this generation. You don't teach them about love. They don't teach them about the commitment of Abba Yahweh. They don't teach them how to pray. They sell them only one thing, violence. That's the way the system makes their money. Selling violence game. Why you expect them to feed their brain with what? Violence. That's why they see 24 hours. A gang is them. They are addicted in the game. The system is the one to blame. We place our by our commitment, prayer, and the garden rules let people know that should not kill. It's not about all black life matter. All life matter. I don't care who you are. All life matter. Because Yahweh created every person with a precious gift. 
Life is a gift from Yahweh. It's not from men. Every one of you must respect the authority of those who are above you. I don't care who you are. You must respect those who are in authority. Then you can be talking. Change your behavior if you want to change. Change the way you are, your attitude. Change those things and then you can talk in about change. But until that, mm -mm, don't talk about change. But you can't even know what change is. Change is not free. Freedom is not free. Do we see Adam need freedom? What happened to Adam? 6,000 years. Humanity is still paid the price. The consequence because of Adam need freedom. Freedom sometimes costs you your life. If you're not ready, don't ask for it. My friends, the book of John 13, chapter verse 34 is said that. So now, I am giving you a new commandment. This is Messiah who is speaking to you tonight. So now, I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. That's a commandment. It's not a choice. Are you doing it? No. You're not doing it. Why? We say, as I say, a new commandment I give it to you to love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. I will use that love. No. Why? Because nobody teaches you about the word of Yahweh. But the system sell you game. The system sell you gun. They sell you drugs. They sell you everything. Why they expect it? Why they expect it? The system is the one who destroy you. The system you're not going to fix it because the more they will destroy you is the more they want to destroy you. Why do you think since in the infant time they try to destroy you by vaccinations, by give you pills, by give you diabetic, by give you all kinds of sickness, all kinds of disease caused by the governments because of the vaccination they give it to you. My friends, and by this all men will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. There is only one way for anybody to know you are a messiah so a disciple is to love one another as he loves you most people thinking to make to love somebody if to have sex no love has nothing to do with sex love is love you can love somebody without having sex but humanity have only one thing in the mind because that's what they teach them you love somebody you have to have sex with that person. That's not true. Love has nothing to do with sex. Love is love. Sex is sex. It's two different things. That's why it's love when it's love when it's sex. We say, as I say, by these, in the John 13 chapter verse 25, and by these, all men will know that you are my disciple if you love, if you love one another are we love one another no we don't love one another so what you see is what you get because whatever you put on the ground whatever you're going to be received my friend the book of hebrew 13 chapter verse 1 continue and brotherly love continue and brotherly love Bloodly love. How many of you get bloodly love? The book of John 15, chapter verse 17. This is my command to you. Love one another. Love one another. Where is that love? Where is that love? Love one another. It don't say to have a sex with one another. But to love one another as a brother and sisters. If you love your brother, are you going to have a sex with your brother? If you love your sister, are you going to have a sex with your sister? You love your mother, you're going to have a sex with your mother? No. So sex has nothing to do with love. Love is love. Sex is sex. Sex is something awful. But love is something has no wrong with it. My friends, 
The book of Matthew 5, chapter verse 20, 43. You have heard that he will say, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But verse 44, we said, so I say, but I tell you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. Hello? That's the golden rules. Yes, you are changed. That's why I said, take not. I'm coming to destroy and to abolish the law and the prophets. But I'm coming to fulfill them. My friends, the book of Matthew, 5 chapter verse 42. But I tell you, love your enemies. If you take you are enemies, you must love them. And pray for those who persecute you. Do good for those who hate you. If your enemy is thirsty, give them water. If your enemy is hungry, feed them. If your enemy is naked, clothe them. If your enemy asking you for your tonic, give you your tug also. If your enemy asks you to walk one mile, walk two miles. If our enemy struck you to the left, give them the other cheeks. There is no room for physical fight. There is no room for any physical contact. If your enemy slap you, turn the other cheeks. So that means run for your life. When he said turn the other cheeks, he don't say twisted fighting, give the other cheek. No, he said run. One, because if you slap you dead, that right hand is blocking those, those jaw. You don't give the other chick to block. It's a one. That means don't stay for him to block the other one. One. Don't give him the other chicks. One. Don't let him break the other chicks. One away. That's the way you turn the other chicks by one for your life. My friends, James 4 chapter verse 1. What is causing the quarrels and fight among you? Don't they come from the evil desire at war within you? Mm. Where do wars and fights come and form among you? Do they do not come from your desire for pleasure that weighs war in your members? My friends, the book of James 3, chapter verse 14. But if you are bitterly jealous, and there is no selfish ambitions in your mind, don't cover up the church with boastings and lying. But if you are Better tell us just that can and there is a selfish ambitions in your mind. Don't cover up the truth with boostings and lying. My friends, the book of Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah 17, chapter verse 9. The human mind is the most deceitful of all things and desperately wicked. Who will really know how bad it is? Listen, the human mind is the most deceitful of all things and desperately wicked. Who really knows how bad it is? My friends, tonight is another night. Tonight, when most people talking about Black Lives Matter, it's not only Black Lives Matter. I have a problem with the system. And I have a problem with all so-called Black people. The problem I have with you you listen to the media. The media told you a white police officer killed a black man. And you take the street. You protested. You marched. 
You destroy things who belong to your neighbor. You destroy things it is you need to be going to the grocery store. You destroy them because of your attitude, your behavior. And you need change. Change yourself first. Then you will receive a chance. When all those people who've been on the street for almost a month or five weeks or six weeks now, I cannot know, who say black life matter. If black life matter, why you kill one another? Why you always fight against one another? Do you love one another? There is a war against one another. You kill one another. There is no peace between one another. There is no love between one another. But you are sent to the system, to the media. When a police officer kills somebody, whatever the circumstances, they don't supposed to be, but it's happened, there is no accident. Nobody say nothing when a black kill another black. And nobody say nothing. And when somebody has killed a black, there is a problem. I have a problem with all of you. It's not about black life matter. All black matter. You kill one another. You kill your own. Nobody say nothing. My friends, let me tell you something. Nobody above authority. The scripture teaches that anyone must be we respect those who are in authority. Point blank. I don't care who you are. Because Messiah Shua went before son Adrian. They beat him up. He never said nothing. As a savior, he never said nothing. Messiah Shua went in the morning time before Pilate. Pilate sent him before Edwards. He never said nothing. He was sent him back to, Yashu, to, er, to Pilate. He never said one word. Even Pilate say Yahshua says something, defend yourself. Do you see all the accusing you? He shut his mouth. He never said nothing. So today, everybody thinking they are above the law. There's nobody above the law. Everybody must respect those who are in authority. That's why the authority is for, for corrections. That's like the scripture. My friend, let me tell you something. I've been victimized by violence. I've been victimized by abusing police brutality and black against black. I don't want to call people black, but I have to say it to describe what taking place and why people always talking twice and they don't even understand what taking place. For Yahweh's sake, respect all human authority. Whether the king as head of the state, of the official he has appointed for the kings has sent them to punish those who do wrong and to honor those who do right. So that means the authority is there to judge in what is doing wrong or that is doing right. Anyway, let's get that for a second. In 2010, in May, in May the 1st, 2010, I get my nephew, his name is Abraham Island, who shot because he went to see his son. They going down by his people. Even today, 2010, we are in 2020. There never be justice to my nephew. I keep on quiet. I see nothing. In January night, they gone down my grand nephew, 12 years old, with 21 bullets. A 12 years old boy. Because he sees something that's on Sabbath the same way they kill my nephew. But only on Saturday. Most people I get killed, they get killed on Sabbath. Maybe because they don't keep the Sabbath. If they don't keep the Sabbath, they're not going to get died. They're not going to get shot. My friends, at Abraham Island, they got him down in May 1st, 2010. We are in 2020. There's never be justice. Who killed him? Who shot him? His own people. 
Nobody say nothing. Why? Do he was wrong or he was at the wrong place at the wrong time? A young man on university get shot. It's not because he was stealing somebody or do anything wrong. He's just gone to see his son. And the blow is when. Ten years later, there's no justice for Abraham Island. A.K.A.B. -A there's no justice yet. Black against black is okay. But when a white do something, you take the street. That's wrong. Start by killing one another. Start by fighting one another. In January 9, 2016, I get my old debut at the hill who gone down 21 bullets. 21 bullets. A 12 years old boy who ride his bicycle to go see his grandma. Because he sees something black against black. They might be taken, he gonna talk. They push on him, they shot him 21 times. A 12 years old boy. Until today, there's never been justice. Until today, I victimize by crime. I victimized by black against black. Stop by saying black lives matter. It's not matter because you kill one another. You kill your own people. You don't respect one another. You don't love one another until you stand by living to love one another. You can go on the street, say all black lives matter. But until that, all life supposed to be matter. You don't give life, you cannot take a life. Where is the life of my nephew, Abraham? Where is the life of my grand nephew, 12 years old? They shot him 21 times. The autopsy revealed 25 bullets. A 12 years old boy, 12 years old boy. 12 years old, he's not still. He just says something, he might be not even pay attention to what was going on. Because somebody shot somebody, he was driving his bicycle. They take him, I go and stalk something, and they retaliated 21 bullets. And you're talking about all black life matter. Stop by killing one another. And stop by fighting with another. You get California, there is so many gang leaders, all them blacks, the Latino. You get everywhere, Miami, Florida, California, everywhere. There is a black gang who kill other black. There is never been no problems. But when something happened, the media say a white police officer kill a black man. What is the reason the white police officer kill a black man? The media is the one who sent you out, misinformates you to get killed, to get beat. No man should be under authority. I'm victimized by you. I victimized by you because nobody educates you to love one another. Because the system sells you violence. Game. But when you play the game, when you kill somebody, to you it's nothing. 12 years old boy. Think about that. In, in January 9, 2016. Just coming into this world. It's not an accident. Everything happened, happened for a reason. I preach love. When I go to the crime scene, I don't put retaliations or vengeance. I know Yahweh, vengeance is belong to him. My friends, before you start by talking all black life matter, start by respect one another. Start by loving one another. Start by fighting one another. Those black leaders must teach you are to love one another, to respect one another, and respect those who are in authority also. Then you can ask him for change. Until that, there's going to be no change. You get that? My friends, let me tell you something. There is so many things going on all over the world, but people might be not understand what take place and what is going on all over the world is because they don't get any things to get. When we take the book of Romans 13, chapter verse 7, 
Render to all what is due to them. Tax to whom tax is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear, and not to whom you honor. I know all people love the brotherhood. Fear not, fear Yahweh, and honor the kings. For kings are all who are in authority, so that we may lead and tranquil and quiet life and all goodness and dignities. My friends, servant, be submissive to your masters with all respect, not only to those who are good and gentle, but also to those who are unreasonable. So today, we see different things happen all over the world. But people do not understand what is going on. They just think it's okay to do that, it's okay to do that. By example, it's not something we get to do very often. My friend, let everyone be subject to governing authority. For there is no authority except from Yahweh, and those that exist have been instituted by Yahweh, according to the book of Romans 13, chapter verse 1. Let everyone be subject to the governing authority. For there is no authority except from Yahweh. And those that exist have been instituted by Yahweh. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists what Yahweh has appointed. And those who resist with anchor judgment, for rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Listen. Listen carefully. Do not resist with occur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Ruler as not bad to those who are good. My friends, if they put a stop you, you say, let me see your hand, obey. Obey the law. But do not rebel against the law when something happened to you and they see a white police officer kill a black man because you don't have no respect for him. So if he for his life, hey, whatever going down first, he going down first. That's why you have to see. You get to change your attitude. You get to listen. Pay attention. Be obedient to those who are in authority. Don't try to fight with the law. You can never be a winner. I know there's a prejudice in the United States of America. I know there's racism. I know there's a discrimination. But that don't, doesn't give you right to disrespect any police. That don't, doesn't give you right to go outside and then to send somebody to walk on the street to commit violence. It's not the way it should be. So those people must be knows what time it is before the act. Because sometimes we think and we can do the right things and when we're doing the wrong thing. My beloved, listen, as a believer, we must do what is pleasing to Yahweh. We must continue to respect and obey authority. We must not say when we agree with one thing. To sometimes it may seem hard. We must obey when things seem unfair, for example. Abel say, let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from Yahweh and those that have been instructed by Yahweh. My friends, my beloved, be a good example for others and even through hard times. Serve Yahweh with all your mind by submitting to authority. Remember that we are to the lights of this earth. And there is no power except that which Yahweh alone. There is no power. That's why there is no accident. Whatever happened, Yahweh is the one who allowed it to be happened. That's why when they gone down, my grand nephew, I preach about love. I don't preach about retaliations. I preach about to love one another. We don't need gong. We need more love. If we love one another, there will be no crime between us. There's going to be no fighting between us. Teach them how to pray. Teach them the commandment of Yahweh. We place the prayer. That's why we have to do those who are in the United States of America everywhere in the world. My friends, Government is not mere advices. It is authority with power to enforce its laws. 
Authority exists with humility and obedience, accept with delight, and devil lie along with our spirit light. The authority by which the children of Israel lead their lead is not power but love. Not force but example. Not coercioned but resonant persuasions. Leaders have power, but power is safe only in the end of those who humble themselves to serve. Those who humble themselves to serve. My beloveds, what does the scripture say about submitting to authority? First Peter 2 chapter verse 13 and 17. Submit to all human authority, whether the king as a head of state, or the official as, as appointed. For the king has sent them to punish those who do wrong and to honor those who do right. It is Yahweh with that your honorable's life should silence. Those ignorant people who make foolish accusation against you, for you are free, yet you are Yahweh's slave. So don't use your freedom as an excuse to do evil. Respect everyone and love the family of the children of Israel. Fear Yahweh and respect those who are in authority. My friends, the book of Romans 13, chapter verse 1 and 2. Everyone must submit to the governing authority. For all authority comes from Yahweh. And those in oppositions and authority have been placed there by Yahweh. So anyone who rebel against authority is rebelling against what Yahweh has instituted and they will be punished. Point blank. Woman, 13 chapter verse 3 to 5. For rulers are not terror to do good works, but to the evil will you are not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good and you shall have praise of the same. For he is the minister of Yahweh for you to good. But if you do what is evil, be afraid, for he be not the straw and vain. For he is the minister of Yahweh, a revenge to execute what upon him that does evil. Wherefore, we must need be subject not only for what, but also for conscience sake. The book of Hebrew, 13 chapter verse 17. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they keep watch over your soul, and we give an account for the works. Let them do this with joy and not be complained, for this would be no advantage for you. The book of Titus, 3 chapter verse 1 and 2. Remind the believers to submit to the government and its officers. There should be obedience always with you to do what is good. They must not slander anyone and must avoid quarrelings. Instead, they should be gentle and show true humility to everyone. My friends, First Peter 2 chapter verse 18 to 21. You who is a slave must accept the authority of your master with all respect. Do what they tell you, not only if they are king or reasonable, but even if they are cold. For Yahweh is pleased with you when you do what you know is right and patiently endure unfair treatment. With your scripture, leaders, of course, you get no credit for being patient. But if you are beaten for doing wrong, but if you suffer, for doing good and end it patiently, Yahweh is pleased with you. For Yahweh call you to do good, even if it means suffering. Just as Messiah shall suffer for you, it is your example and you must follow Messiah Shua's footstep. The book of Ephesians 6 chapter verse 5 and 6. A slave, obey your earthly master with deep respect and fear, serve them sincerely as you will serve Yeshua Amashiach. Try to please them all the time, not just when they are watching you as a slave of Messiah Yeshua, 
Do the will of Yahweh with all your mind. My friends, Ephesians first chapter, verse 19 to 21. I pray that you will begin to understand the incredible greatness of his power. For us who believe in Yahshua Amashiach, this is the same mighty power that raised Yahshua from the dead and sit in him on the place of honor, and Yahweh wide end and the heavenly winds, now he is a far above any rulers and authority of power of leaders of anything else in this world and in the world to come. Be a good example. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. But be an example to others, believers, and your speech, and your behavior, and your love, and your faithfulness, and your purity, not in your bad behavior. If you want to change it, the first thing you have to do is to change your life, change your attitude, love one another, stop by fighting between one another. Black kill black, there is no problems. The media never say anything. The media put gas, and one black, white and black. There is no such a black and white. You are all the spirit. If you are all the spirit, what you see is not me. Because I am a spirit on the cells. You can say whatever you want to say. You cannot hurt me. Because I have no feeling anyway for anybody to hurt. So if anybody say black, it's your business. Don't listen to those person. My friends, Messiah so I say in Matthew 22, chapter verse 21. They saying to him, Caesar. Then saying to them, Run there therefore into Caesar the things which are Caesar, and to Yahweh the things that are Yahweh. My friends, my beloved, it is a time for us to take a conscience, every clear conscience. The way we acting, the way we doing things is not the way our by Yahweh asking us to do it. It's a time to take shuva. Is it time now to have a clear conscience? Is it time now to respect those who are in authority? Is it time now to respect the elders? Is it time for the system to bring back prayer? Is it time now for those who make the rules, who make a law, the Congress, the Senate, to bring back prayers? Those young kids can know about prayer, can know about the commitment of Yahweh that should not kill. Stop sell them, violence them, start give them condom, start tell them it's okay to have sex, start saying, to teach them about same sex is to teach them to about safe sex is a time to stop the violence United States of America those who do the regulations those who make the law in this country time for change it's not about we want to make America great again it's about all black life matter all life matter it's not about all black life all life about so that should not kill if anyone kills somebody, you must be killed also. But they teach you how to kill the system by sending you the violence game. Stop by watching TV. Stop by buying the game. Cut the violence between us. Love one another. There is more crime against black, against black, and everywhere in the United States of America. They build that against you. They sell you the violence game in order to commit violence from your own people. But when somebody is doing something and you outrageous, my friends, if you want a change, you must start by loving one another. Start by fighting between one another. Start by stealing between one another. Start by lying between one another. It is a time now for the children of Israel to work together. Divide it, we will fall. But united, we will stand. If you not stand for something, we will fall for nothing. It is a time now to have any conscience. Those blind leaders, it's not to listen to the media. The media don't let you do anything right, but good. All life matter. It's not about black life matter all life matter 
Because Yahweh will create every single person for his own pleasure. For his own will to be done on earth as it is right now in paradise. Abaya will create every single person for his own purpose. Why kill them? Why kill black against black? There is no problem. Nobody said nothing. My nephew Abraham, he was 21 or 22 years old. And there is my grandnephew, 12 years old. Until today. There is no justice. Because it's a black against black. But when white against black, as the media portrayed it, instead of the media to say a police officer killed a man. Why? Because he was still, because he was he was sleeping on the Wendy's drive tanks. That's the reason why. Because he refused to obey with the law. He refused to obey with authority. Instead of to see that you are commit more violence. Time for change. You have to change yourself first. Love one another. Respect those who in authority and things can be changed for you. Even Yahshua used a good example. He don't disrespect Son Adrian's Kaifa, he don't disrespect Palat, he don't disrespect a word, he don't even say one word. Respect those who are in authority, all those who are above you. Respect them, love one another, start by killing one another. If you want to act justice for white against black, you must also stop by killing your own people first then you can walk and protest it black life matter until that sit down and then pray to our by our way to give you wisdom and understanding because i'm victimized myself i know the pain i feel you don't you don't they don't do anything wrong to lose their life but they kill them anyway 12 years old, 21 bullets. Don't do nothing. Because it's just why it's bicycle to see his grandma. He not even pay attention when they kill the other men. Because it's black against black. The next thing, they gong him down on the doorpost of his grandmother. 21 bullets. They make sure they retaliate it. They retaliate him. 2000, January 9, 2016. We are in 2020. There is no justice. Abraham, May 1st, 2010. There is no justice. Black against black. And now you're talking all black life matter when you kill one another? Come on. Every common sense. There is a gang everywhere. A gang everywhere. Kill black against black. Nobody say, never said nothing. You must change the way you are living first. You must change your attitudes, your behavior, the way you are living your life, the way you hate one another, the way you judge with one another, the way you love money, they pay you to destroy your own, just that can kill his own bloody abels. It was always be that way. Nothing going to be changed. My friends, may Abaya will be with you. Stop by listening to people. Let you go outside without changing yourself. You must change yourself first. Change yourself and ask for change. There's only one person who can change things for you anyway. It's Yahweh. Because Yahweh is the one who put you here. You don't put yourself here. You don't bring yourself in slavery. You don't place yourself in the captivities. Asking yourself why I'm here. Why all those things happen to me? Why they discriminate against me? Because you do not know your limitation as a slave. You are not in your land. The land Abaya was promised to you is not the state of United States, the land of United States of America. The land Abaya was promised to Abraham, Isaac, Israel, and his descendants is the land of Canaan. It's not this, the land of the United States of America. That's the reason why. All the NBA stars, they have the money. What they do? Nothing. They just buy airplanes, big house, car collections, and put their money sit down because they are so stupid. 
and then they keep out all black. Now they they against black. Who pay you for the untentament? White. Just think. You have no sense. You are blind. And set up to buy all those big houses, twenty million dollars house, forty million dollars house. You are a slave on the land. You collect so many cars, airplane. What you have to do? You are black. And now you have to revolt against your master. <laughs> Hello. You want to revolt against your master who pay you for entertainment. They pay you for entertainment. Twenty millions a year. Twenty millions a year. What are you doing with it? Do you have anybody? You can even help your own family. But you are so stupid, you're so dumb because the curse is follow you no matter who you are. You get Jay-Z. It's Haitian, but they never know it's Haitian. So where is all his money? He buy airplanes. He buy everything. He can help people in Haiti, but he don't. How about those others, Africans? You can help your country. With all those money you get, what are you doing? Nothing. It's time now to wake up. This country is not your country. Whatever treatment they give it to you because you are in slavery. Because you do not know your limitations. If you know your limitations, you are not going to march. Protest it against equal rights. You don't, cannot have no equal rights when you are a stranger. You cannot know it's equal rights when they call you African Americans. How can they call you African Americans and you, you, you working for equal rights? You're talking about all black life matter. Do you think they care about you? No, you are a slave. Know your limitation. Respect yourself. Know who you are. Respect those who are an authority no matter what. And serve those who want to be free. Only one way you can be free is only Yahshua. If Yahshua sets you free, you are free indeed. If you respect authority no matter what, you will save your life, my friend. And you will save your life of others also. But when you disrespect those who are in authority, not even you create problems for those people who should be go to work to make a living, but they are on the street begging the master for forgiveness, for justice, when they will never get any justice. Respect yourself and respect those who are in authority and live. If not, you're going to deserve what you, you're going to receive what you deserve. Respect those who are in authority. That's my advice to all of you. You can reject it and you can also, I know there's racism in this country. That's only one country that is black and white. No other country. They call you African American. It start by rejecting the title they give you to you, the name African American. You get to know who you are. You are of the children of Israel. Start by telling the, the application they give it to you, just throw it away or put a cross when they say African American, put I am an Israelite and come back. That's it. But until you accept, you call yourself African Americans. Your leader call you Negro. Your leader call you African Americans. You do not know who you are. Existence, purpose, and you. Until you do not know your existence, you do not know your purpose, you do not know who you are, you are going to be wandering for the rest of your life and you are going to die in this land. Just like the children of Israel, they will all die on the wilderness because they were wandering, they were unbelieved. Until your mind is hardened, you rebel against your creator word. You refuse to listen. You're going to wander in for the rest of your life. And all you're going to be destroyed unless you're doing the right thing. Respect those who are in authority. Because there is never be an actions without Yahweh cause it to be happen. My nephew, 12 years old, 21 bullets. The autopsy reveal 25 bullets. Is this by Yahweh will? Let his will be done. Because I know Yahweh has to give those power in order to take his life. Without Yahweh, Satan doesn't exist. Yahweh say he created even the wicked for the time of disaster. I believe there is no accident. Whatever happened, by Yahweh do it for us to learn from what is going on. If you respect those who are in authority, 
you will leave. But if you don't respect those who are in authority, you're gonna you're gonna receive what you deserve. Because respect, love, humility. They ask you to do something, just obey, be obedient. As Yahweh say, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Stop by Slonga a Pumbaganda Black Life Matter movement. Stop that. All life matter. All life. Love that neighbor as that self. And with that, fulfill all the laws and the prophet. He said, so I say, I'm give you a new commitment. The new commitment I give it to you is to love one another, not to kill one another, not to hate one another, not to fight one another, not to destroy one another, not to steal one another, not to jealous one another, but you do it. And now, suddenly, and in all black life matter, about the life of my cousin, my nephew Abraham, about the life of my Grand nephew had a hear what happened to him. All black life matter about about the life. Nobody ever say anything, but now you take this street. My nephew never do anything wrong. My grand nephew never do anything wrong. Twenty one bullets. Think about that. He just go to see his son, and they blow his brain. 12 years old, why right? a bicycle to go see his grandma? 21 bullets. Think about it. If I have to talk about the Black Lives Matter, I'm the one who should be talking. I don't see nothing. So don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. Stop the nonsense movement of Black Lives Matter. You don't love one another. How can Black Lives can matter to you now? How can it can be matter to you? You kill one another. You hate one another. You destroy one another. You are still one another. And now, suddenly, all black life matter. All life matter. Because Yahweh created everybody for his own purpose. Love one another as I love you. May Abba Yahweh be with you. Abba Yahweh, thank you for everything. Thank you for all the words. And for everything, Abba Yahweh. I thank you so much, Abba Yahweh. For a lot of things has been happening, Abba Yahweh, because of the media. Because of the leaders of the children of Israel are misled them. They are lied to them. They see about money. They put them on the front line in order for them to get killed, for them to get destroyed. But because they don't see, before they're working for change or asking for change, they have to come to you. Because you don't come here by accident and by coincidence. You put them here because of a reason. You, everything happen is by your actions. Nothing ever happened without a cause. As you see, if a trumpet is trembled, if Yahweh do not cause that, if there is any catastrophe, do Yahweh cause that? There is nothing happen without Yahweh acting the way it should be acting. Whatever you see happen to the children of Israel is not an accident. It's not a coincidence. I barely make it happen for those who are behind, for those who recover, those who are sleeping, who thinking they can ask the masters for forgiveness, the master for justice, the master for equal right when you are a slave. There is no such equal right. You get five fingers. Look at this. Each one every different size, each one every different height. Abaya will never create everybody equal. There's no such equal right. There is no such civil right. That one doesn't exist. Abaya will give you instructions. He give you a commitment. He tell me, if you don't obey all my commitments and my instructions and my judgments and my statutes and my degrees, I will send you back to Egypt and I will make you serve your enemy. I will pursue you until you are destroyed. You get that? Until you learn how to be obedient and listen to the voice of your creator, whatever you see, it's just the beginning. My friends, govern yourself or you're going to pay the price. Stop by nonsense movement or black life matter. No. I lost my nephew and my grand nephew. You are the one who killed them. It's not why people kill them. Are you have any clear conscience? Are you know what you're doing? Your leaders are blind. You are blind. He says, so I say, a blind. 
who lead another blind. Both we fall at the same time. Kingdom divided against kingdom cannot be stained. It just only brings desolations. Black against black is okay. It's okay. Black killing black is okay. Black eating black is okay. Black jealous black is okay. Black gang kill the other black gang is okay. But when a police officer do his job, it's not okay because you do not respect them. I know there is some of them no good, but there is some good police out there too. If you respect the police, I bet you the police will respect you. I meet a lot of good police. I meet bad police also, but most of them are good. Because if you respect them, they will respect you. If you love them, they will love you. If they, you, if they ask you to do something, you do it. I bet you, you're not going to get killed. Be obedient. And then do those who are in authority. May our by our way be with you. My friends, our brothers, our life mother. I bet I see that you not kill. Point blank. I bet I will see I am here. I'm the one who kill, and I'm the one who give life. I'm the one who want it, and I'm the one who heal. And beside me, there is no other gods, and nobody can rescue you out of my hand. Before we need a change, manifest for change, ask for change, put your feet on the ground, nail your knees on the ground, ask Abel for forgiveness. Ask Abel to teach you of to love one another, to respect one another. Just that king, Abel is a king. If you do right, do you be acceptable? But if you do wrong, sin is causing what there at your door waiting for you. Because the sin master is to desire to destroy you. Don't let it happen. Instead of for him to listen, the next day he kills his blood because of jealousy. My friends, if you know the change, change yourself first. Change your attitude. Change your life. Change your behavior. The way you talk and the way you treating people. May our by our way, we give you grace and mercy and forgiveness. And you can live a long life. Abba Yahweh, thank you for the privilege. Thank you for your word, Abba Yahweh. Thank you for the courage. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the Hua Hakodes Abba Yahweh. And thank you for your people Israel. Those who have been captives, those who have been misled, those who have been in the darkness, those Abba Yahweh, you've been lied to them for almost 2,000 years of religion deceptions. Those Abba Yahweh now who try to wake them up. You have 1,900 years. Your people with, without the commandments. Your people with, without you. Your people with, without a Levi's. Your people without a priest. Your people with, without nothing. Now, Abba Yahweh, because of your covenant, you remember with Abraham, Yitzhak, and Israel. And that's the reason why you send your servant to restore your people, the children of Israel, who are in slavery. And they have to spend 400 years in these processions. May your will be done, Abba Yahweh. Abba Yahweh, thank you for everything. And thank you for those, Abba Yahweh, who listen to your word. Thank you, Abba Yahweh, for those who are going to keep on listening to your word and learn from what you say. For those who never have been know about to love one another, to start by killing one another. Love has nothing to do with sex. Most people think in sex is to love. Love is sex. There's a big difference between love and sex. You can love somebody without having sex. Mr. Aswasi, love one another. If you love one another, you're not going to disrespect a police officer. You're not going to disrespect those who are in authority. Always love. Love doesn't do wrong. If somebody told you love is wrong, tell him no. May Abaya will be with you. May Abaya will bless you. May Abaya will protect you. Thank you, Abaya, for all the viewers, or all the listeners. As this Sabbath is ended, Abaya, for all those who obey your commandments, your Sabbath day, who keep your Sabbath day set apart, who try to follow your instructions, it's not easy. You know that, Abaya, 
the narrow gate is not easy. It's very hard and difficult. I'm asking you, Abba Yahweh, to keep on leading them in your truth because you are the only way. You are the only life and you are the ways. There is a lot of ways seem to be good in the sight of a man, but the way of it, the end of it is death. Abba Yahweh, preserve and protect your people as you was promised to Abraham, Yitzhak, and Israel. You will bring a remnant to the land of Canaan, not to the land of the United States of America. The land full with violence, with domestic violence, with discriminations, with racism. Abba Yahweh, may your will be done one day on earth as it is right now in paradise. Bless those who bless you. Honor those who honor you. And Abba Yahweh, thank you for your set apart this Sabbath. I'm asking a blessing for all those who obey your Sabbath day. For all those who try Abba Yahweh, it's hard, it's not easy. That's the reason why only few are going to find a way. The way for the destruction is very large, it's very wide. But the nail gate is very hard, it's very precious, very difficult to get in. Only few will find a way. Abba Yahweh, you know those who are already written in your book of life. Please, every mercy, every compassion, lead them and protect them. Abba Yahweh, I know there is nothing never be happened without you give the power and authority. Whatever life, whatever is going on into this world today, you the one who give the power to let them know even Satan is ruled over the earth, but you are in control. You get the remote control in your end. You control everything. But men refuse to understand that. The coronavirus take over. Now it's about Black Lives Matter. What next are by our way? But nobody sees nothing because they are most of blind who lead the other blind. They don't see there's a message of repentance of those who live in, in the United States of America, or all those who live in and all over the earth to repent from their wicked ways because the judgment day is near. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you to bless those who preserve, those who support, those who Abba Yahweh, who donated in your ministries, those who finance your ministry, whatever they have, they give in your Yahweh, Yahushua ministry. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you to bless them. Bless them in everywhere. Bless them, Abba Yahweh, abundantly. Every corner, everywhere they go, gone, Abba Yahweh, those who spend the week, the Sabbath day, I'm asking you to bless the new week to come. Provide for them. Those who are in need to heal them, heal them. Those who need to protect, protect them. Those who need to be saved, save them. Those are by our way. We're going to drive for the week. I'm asking you to protect them. Even they behind the wheel, St. Andre Gabriel are by our way to drive for them. When they get in, when they get out, when they go to their job, when they are inside the job, when they get out, whatever they're doing for the week are by our way. I'm asking you, I don't pray for you to protect them, to preserve them, and to lead them and to guide them for your righteousness, please. I'm asking in the name of Yahshua, Amashiach. May I will bless you and keep you. May I will keep his face shy upon you, be gracious to you. May I will lift his continent upon you and give you shalom. The same Yahshua, Amashiach, say shalom. The same Yahshua, Amashiach, say shalom. The same Yahshua, Amasiak says Shalom. In the name of Yahshua Amasiak, Prince of Peace. The name of Yahshua Amasiak, the only way. The name of Messiah Yahshua Amasiak, the only name give above. The only name Yahshua Amasiak, Yahweh Salvation, Yahweh Savior, Yahweh Redeemer. Anyone can receive salvation. Anyone can receive forgiveness. And anyone can receive a new life. Remember, John 3, chapter verse 18 stated, Whoever believes in Yeshua Amashiach will not going to be condemned. But whoever not believes in Yeshua, the only begotten son of Yahweh, has already condemned. 
has already contained. For me say so I say only to those who believe in me. Only to those who believe in my name, Yahushua. Only to those I give the power and authority to become a children of Yahweh. I am messenger Daniel. Until next time, say shalom alehem. Peace be to thee. May Abba Yahweh bless you. La light of Toda Rabba Yahweh. May Abba Yahweh bless your new week to come and protect you and keep you safe from the evil of this world. In the name of Yeshua, Amashiach. Let's go with that song. I love that song for some reason. I don't know about you. I love it. My people are dying because of the refuse to listen. This is crazy, man. Yes. It's like every time I look around. Why do you say? I'm getting some news. Somebody died. Mm -hmm. died yeah. Babylon, Why they die? Family members, friends. Mm -hmm. Ooh, people that the truth that I knew. Yes, uh-huh. I'm sad, man. It's not sad. I'm watching the news every day. Why do you say? Uh-huh. Can't you see what's going on? Babylon, Babylon, the great, not Babylon. So many people are dying on the day. They're going to die every second. Yeah, the answers in that book, but you ain't read it lately. No, it's written right there in the scriptures. But our people won't listen. Our people won't listen. So they get what they deserve. It's written right there in Revelations. It says, Come out of her. See the mountain in Zion, my friend. So come out of it. Yes. We at the end of the year time. Are you this seeing the bullets, man? Oh, but you sitting around trying to get reparations. Reparations. Great Babylon is about to be a desolation. Oh, and our people still dying. Because they won't listen. No. It's written right there in the scriptures. But our people won't listen. They hear the word and they toss it aside. It's written right there in Revelations. It says, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her now. That before he did not want to yes. of her sin. Uh -huh. And that he received not. That's your choice. The only choice you get. You may share on your face. And I'm going to destroy you just like you destroy them. Yeah. Said I believe. They die because they won't listen.
Brandy Love every second. Stop letting Babylon score. I will waste God then because they are refused to listen to the word of the Yahweh. They were not going to be safe. All of them going to be destroyed anyway. Because they refuse to listen. They refuse. They refuse. They call you African American. You accept it. You are an Israelite. You have to stop by saying, I am Israelite. Come on, Jimmy. His name? His name is what? Uh huh. Oh, yes, come on. No matter where you are, this is who we are. Are you are the of Israel? Uh huh. Every tribe, every language, no matter where you are, by in love to Yeshua Amasia, this is who we are as the children of Israel. Yes. Ah, yes. Come on. Come on. By in love before the king, Yeshua Amasia. Praise Yeshua. Come on. Praise him. Come on. Let's go. Come on. the only way we can be as uh, for the best of the saints to believe. Praise Yahweh. It's not to praise your master. It's not to beg your state master. It's not to pray Trump to forgive you, to give you equal right. Congress cannot save you. The Senate cannot save you. Only Yahweh can save you. And you praise Yahweh. Come on. Not Trump. Praise Yahweh or your stupid blind people. Don't listen to your leaders. Praise Yahweh. Put your knees on the ground. Beg Yahweh. Cry to Yahweh. Fasting and prayer. Not to manifest to protest against Pharaoh. Pharaoh don't care about you. Yahweh loves you. This is the way. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Come on. Yes. Bless everybody. By in love to the king. Somebody, come on, the children of Israel. No matter where you are tonight, let's praise our by our way. Life is just a moment of opportunity. You never know one second to another. Let's give to Caesar what is belong to Caesar. Don't say if it's gonna be too late. Let all the sickness go away in the name of Yahshua. Let all the stress, all your problems get away from praise Yahweh. Oh yes, oh yes, praise Yahweh, come on. No matter where you are, receive your blessing by praising Yahweh. Get up and praise Yahweh, receive your blessing. Receive your healing. But you must praise our Bible. Come on, get up. No matter where you are, stop the car. Get up in your sofa. Get up in your chair and praise our Bible. You will receive your healing. You will receive your blessing. You will receive everything our Bible has promised to you. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. It's my people who are calling by my name and put themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then, then I will hear them, I will forgive their sin, and I will hear their name. Until you learn how to call Yahweh by his name, you will never receive your healing because you will never receive your forgiveness. Yahweh be your shield. Let after Yahweh call you up. They start to put all the chicken under his wing. The eagle cannot touch them. Touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. Yes. No matter where you are, which country you are, it is a time. And I told you, Rabbi Yahweh, I see you next time. 
at its same stations.